What is going on guys? Grave here today. Let's talk about Hogwarts Legacy having some exclusive content. And here we go again with a game having content that other platforms won't get for a really long time. I'm not a really big fan of this and um, it's something that I, I think even though a lot of people are excited for the game or kind of disappointed at the same time. There will be an exclusive uh, kind of mission coming to PlayStation on launch. And that's kind of because the Harry Potter inspired open world game was first revealed at the PlayStation Showcase in September of 2020. And a lot of people at the time thought that the game was actually going to be a PlayStation exclusive. But later on, we found out that that was not the case. The game will be available on other platforms as well. But there will be an exclusive quest line called the Haunted Hogsmeade Shop that will allow players to delve into a spooky dungeon and claim the shop for themselves. They will also be able to access the best prices in the entire game. Also, this includes a recipe for the renowned uh, potion, which in the game will let players see gear chest on the mini map while exploring Hogwarts or its surroundings. Now, the reason that a lot of people were unhappy about this when they found out about the exclusive content is because this will be exclusive on PlayStation for a full year. So you will not be able to access this content on xbox or on pc until february of 2024 so it's going to be an entire year that this content is available on playstation now personally i'm not a fan of this at all um i hate exclusive content i wish it was gone out of every game that was ever made but sadly it's kind of the case right now hopefully that will be the case going forward that people will stop doing this developers will stop doing this these companies will stop doing this but in my opinion if you're going to do it a year is a bit too much uh, maybe a couple months a month two weeks, whatever the case could be, uh, I, I think that should definitely be toned down. Instead of, not, instead of a year, it should have been a lot smaller or shorter of a time frame. And like I said, I, I think that's why a lot of people thought to begin with that the game was going to be a PlayStation exclusive. I mean, even I thought that when I first saw it, because as we all know, uh, you see something on the PlayStation Showcase, that's usually going to be a game that, you know, Sony is, is kind of making to be an exclusive for just their platform. But I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Are you looking forward to the game? I know there's a lot of excitement building around it. I'm definitely looking forward. I'm a huge, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I'm, and having the idea of having a Harry Potter open world RPG game is a just very exciting to me. And I'm hoping it turns out to be what we all expect it to be. But at the same time, I am kind of disappointed that this exclusive content is going to be here. This exclusive content is going to be something that some players won't have access to for over a year. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.